Hey folks, welcome to Billy Metals channel. I'm Toby and uh, today I'm out in a lovely little creek, uh, one of the many seasonal creeks um, around Victoria and I'm going to dig up a few samples out of this gravel and a couple of other spots along this creek. It's all uh, unfortunately covered in this uh, prickly spiny horror called spiny rush which is this, uh, this native grass here. It's not actually native to this area but it's native to parts of Victoria I believe. A few thistles and other prickly horrors. Uh, we'll uh, try not to get jabbed in the eyes and uh, dig a bit of a sample out of there and see what sort of gold we can find. So a very interesting little spot. I have panned gold out of this creek when it was about 2 degrees and uh, my fingers went numb and I got a couple of little specks so now it's dried up and it's stinking hot. We'll see what we can pull out. So let's dig a hole and uh, hopefully we can get some nice yellow. Okay, so there's our test hole. You can see in there this lovely blue clay. Uh, that's basically bottom, although having said that, there does seem to be a bit of quartz and layers of gravel, probably was cracks in the clay, in the bedrock once upon a time. Uh, there will be gold down in that, so I'll do a separate sample of that. Here's our bucket full of gravel. Quite a lot out of a relatively small hole. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed, it looks really, really good. We'll go and pan that off, there's a water hole a couple of hundred metres up the creek from here. Unfortunately it's pretty dry at the moment. But, uh, there's enough water to pan. Okay, first pan. There's actually quite a bit of gold in it from what I could see. <laughs> That's heaps. That is one bucket full of gravel from that spot. That is going to need a sluice. I have to dig out a heap of it. There's some chunky bits in there. To get a heap of that gravel. Look at that. Here it go, clunk. Um, cart it to water, set up a sluice and uh, potentially get quite a bit of gold out of there. That is exciting. Oh, let's go and grab another couple of bucketfuls and we'll see what comes out in a few different spots along that creek. Okay, I went further up the creek, uh, another, I don't know, 20 metres, and I took another bucket, a smaller bucket, and I found a little crevice in uh, kind of bedrock. There's uh, actually some rocks uh, either side, and a little crevice in the middle and it is much more exciting. I didn't video because I didn't actually think there'd be much in that bit. It just didn't look that good the gravel. Have a look. There's some shotgun pellets that have washed in. Have a look at the gold in that. That is honestly the most gold I've found out of a single bucket 
out of a creek in uh, many, many years. There's some decent little pieces in there. Not quite nuggets, but you can well imagine there'd be nuggets there, potentially. So that is getting quite exciting. Look at that. Nuts. Very, very excited. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go back and get some more. Okay, so this is uh, where I got the nuggety gold from, of course, a bits. That's sandstones and slates, that's slate there, there's a layer of sandstone, this is the gravel we're getting, that's the, the crevice you can see there with blue clay in it. Little band of ironstone-y stuff there. Actually, that's not a nugget there, is it? No, it's not. Look, look like a bit of gold. There's a ser series of crevices there coming up really shallow. So this area here. So that's where the gold's coming from. There's plenty of creek to work here, so I'm going to take... Uh, I aim for 10 or 12 bucketfuls of samples from up and down this area. Pound the rest of those off and very shortly I shall show you the results of that. And then uh, I reckon we'll be coming back here and sluicing when there's water available. So, looking good. Very prickly and messy up there but uh, yes, well worth it. Okay, so we ended up getting that gold out of uh, 11 buckets, so 11 10 litre buckets out of there. So one pan load, one bucket load uh, didn't have any gold in it. One had just one tiny, tiny little flake and the rest of them were generally quite impressive. Squeeze this little lid off. Zero. Point four eight of a gram. So about fifty dollars worth at uh, current spot price. Not bad. So pretty good results. Uh, yeah, an average of um, over point oh four of a of a gram. So that's uh, not bad for a ten litre bucket. Obviously, we're going back and doing a lot more panning down there, and um, set up a bit of a sluice when there's some more water around. So yes, please uh, like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and uh, there will be plenty more coming up very, very soon. Hopefully lots more gold.